So while I was eye racing the other day, it has displays on the screen of your pedal activity. And I noticed I was either all on or all off on the throttle and the brake. And I realized that that was causing me to spin out a lot when you let off the gas immediately. The rear end wants to kick. Uh, you get on the gas, flooring it too hard in a turn, and obviously it's gonna kick out. But I realized it was because of the springs being so soft, like the gas pedal is literally you know, one finger, the brake is a little harder, clutch is significantly harder. I just went ahead and ordered these guys, these GTI, or Gitty, whatever they call them, from Australia. But they have them here in the United States, apparently in stock. It's like 40 something dollars for the kit, but we're gonna install these guys. If you have a Logitech pedal kit, you have to break open the box to get to the pistons. That's all you're gonna need if you're Pedal box is already broken down is a 10 mil and an Allen head. So once you have your 10 millimeter and your Allen wrench, go ahead and drop the rear bolt from the piston. Holy shit. And very easily the spring comes right out. All right. Now we'll take the clutch spring and we're gonna compare it to the stock clutch spring. Definitely thicker, shinier, less coils, and harder to mash. So let me slide this back into here, pop this back into the piston, and put everything back together. Now we'll compare. Oh yeah, that's much harder to press. Now we just repeat the process for the brake and the throttle. Now for the brake pedal, there's a little rubber block. And apparently if you intend on running your pedals through your steering wheel, then you're gonna wanna keep this. This is written into the software so that you can't just mash the pedal all the way to the floor and lock the brakes up. If you're gonna switch your cable over to a 10-bit cable, Google it, it's about $45. It converts your pedals to USB and you'll be running at 10-bit resolution, which I guess makes them more responsive. You won't need this because then you can change it in the settings and you'll just be using it as a USB controller. You could also leave this in and that way make it your dead zone so you know when to not floor the pedal all the way. So now we'll get the brake spring and we're gonna compare the two. Huh, so this one has a progressive spring on it and it's a lot stiffer. So I may not need this rubber block anymore since that progressive spot is going to take up that amount there. So I'm going to try it without the rubber block and we'll see what happens. Oh, that's hard. Yeah, you. I don't think you'll need the rubber block. Much better. Now the gas pedal seems better, it's thicker. It's definitely shorter. All right, we'll see. It feels firmer, but I guess I'm used to firm gas pedals. left us to do some testing and see how it feels but so far I like the progressive rate on the brake I like that the clutch is firmer but not too firm and I like that the gas is much firmer I don't like being able to just floor it it's obviously gonna be a problem in track racing being able to so easily just mash to the floor you're gonna spin out and then same thing letting off the gas too fast tends to kick the rear around so after some initial testing I have to say this pedal being firmer is is good it's not firm enough though i really feel like this should be a lot firmer that way you really have to fight the gas pedal i do like the progressive rate on the brake it's firmer at the top and less firm at the bottom and that's exactly what it needed however the clutch pedal is way too firm i find myself uh only halfway mashing the clutch and before i could really i could quick shift without a problem and in most cars i've raced the clutch tended to be pretty soft. I'm sure in higher end race cars, it's gonna be a little harder pedal, but 
for me being able to not totally shred my knee and my left calf muscle because I also drive stick shift in real life. I'm gonna put the stock spring back into the clutch so it's nice and soft. I liked it that way. So uh, I recommend the gas and the brake upgrade. I would also recommend if they're listening, uh, GTI, a little firmer on the gas pedal. The spring being shorter, yeah, I don't think that helps. But if it was the same length and a little firmer, that would probably be perfect. So, so like if you like, subscribe if you want to see more. And as always, keep on modding.